ladies and gentlemen hello you're welcome once again to today we are in tico and we are here at um, an area to look at a client's farm um, a farmer is um, he wants to engage into fish farming but he has been having a lot of difficulties as you can see we came they did at ponds so you will find out that there are a lot of issues that are going with it the depth we have a lot of um, uh, we have weed everywhere and all of that and then it's, it's yeah there are just so many issues here in security everything so he has been struggling with this for a very long time now and um by now he was hoping to have had um his um, um fish doing extremely well but that has not been possible so he gave us a call and today we are here we are here with an expert uh, animal scientist who is uh, all the way mr greg is an amazing guy i mean um, he's someone who is very patient and um he loves he loves animals he loves he loves to see food in Africa and we are here with him. You'll he, be, he be looking at different things and see, to see how what we are going to correct um, the, the mistakes that have been made here. So already there are so many different mistakes. So we'll be working on that. And in a few weeks, probably in a month, you will find out um, we are going to share more videos for you to see how beautiful the farm looks like. Probably by then we must have stopped with um, the, some finger lines and all of that. So you're going to see. So yeah, as you can see here, we have it's more, more than 7,000 capacity. Of fish farm more than so it's going to be massive there'll be a lot of money here to be made to be made so <laughs> it's quite amazing it's quite amazing agriculture is beautiful uh, we have to keep farming it's an amazing place just being here i mean look at nature this is a swampy area this is a swampy area it's beautiful yeah it's really beautiful so um we would like to hear from uh, mr greg i mean he's here um on that sustainable fig we we're just trying to uh, provide sustainable um to train farmers in terms of sustainable agriculture we're trying to uh, make sure that we see a world with zero hunger and one of the ways in doing this is we realize that we need to work with a lot of investors particularly those in the diaspora who wants to invest in africa but face a lot of difficulties so we discuss with them and when they they, they t -t tell us about their projects i mean we are guys they can trust so we work with them and make sure that it's a success so that's what, exactly why we are here and um also the food is expensive so we have to make sure there's food for everyone. thank you we are here to see how the work can continue because the farm has been abandoned the former contractor that took the job did his part we are here to correct them if you can see the farm we still need to remove the storms the part of the storms in the farm although some people will say it's still a natural way of leaving them there they will the depth is a swampy area, the depth too is, is shallow, so it, it will be a seasonal stuff. So we don't want it to be a seasonal stuff, we want it to be continuable, continuable that we can produce year round. So you can see, and then through the first two, we still need to complete it. And then it's a natural environment, so we need to produce more fish. As you can hear, we need to stock, we need to do polyculture, catfish, and uh, tilapia zili, or oricumin laliticus. So we are here to do it. Mm -hmm. 